This is my John Doe, and I want to make it look like this. The transformation usually takes a ton of time and money, but I'm going to make it a goal to spend no more than $100 and have it completed in two days. But for someone like me who has zero experience modding a boat, I guess I can now say, build for the adventure. Now, first order of business, before we even get to creating this new modification, my mom thought it would be a good idea to use my boat as storage for some of her boxes and her vegetables. Oh, <laughs> mom, why do you need all this? Ooh, some nice lettuce right here. Alex Perrick would surely enjoy it. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, if you guys were wondering who was behind the camera, this is my friend Toby. And he is from the great state of Texas where there's some great fishing. Unfortunately, Toby here does not fish at all, but he agreed to help me just be the cameraman for the day and help me transform this boat to make it really epic. Really? <laughs> Got all sorts of junk in here. Got like a 50 pound battery. Honestly, this could be a great workout tool. Oh, get in those reps. Ugh. Swollen right here. Got me a container of some Clorox. The reason I'm not flooding this boat with a ton of water and then pulling the plug like I should be doing to clean it, we're actually experiencing some freezing temperatures right now, so I kind of don't want to ice up my boat. Originally, these wipes were white, and now look at them. That's starting to turn a little bit not white. So this is the current plan I have drawn up for the boat. I spent all morning watching videos and planning out how I want this layout to be like. Of course, we're gonna keep on adding on to what this is at the current moment. But first, let's go get some supplies. Now I've actually wanted to do this project forever. Cause one thing I was hoping that my John boat would actually come with was a casting deck. You see people constructing the most complex builds with their John boats, but that's not what I want. I wanna create something that's really easy for you guys to replicate as well. And also partly cause I don't know how to build. What we're trying to look for is some two by eight inch boards, preferably in the six foot category. We might have to get like a 12 foot one and cut it down cause we need four of those boards and then some black carpet of course for our deck right now we're in the light section which is pretty but it's not going to help us build a boat and also i think we grabbed the wrong cart uh this one's not really for the wood there it is that's what we want cool now we got a wood cart ah here's the wood all right let's see if we can fit through here Ooh, we can do it we can do it bear with me i can't do it <laughs> i present to you the wood section all right, now, where's the wood we need? You know, this this kind of reminds me of when you're a new beginner fisherman and you walk into like Bass Pro Shops, you're just overwhelmed and you don't know what to get. I guess this is what you feel when you're building something for the first time. Two by eight, 12 feet, found it. This is what we need. Okay, now we just need to get like an associate to come and help us because Last time I checked, David can't reach that. I can't reach that unless we like climb up. But then it's also like strapped up. You guys didn't know Toby's real name is not Toby. It's actually David, but Toby's a running joke we have. Oh yeah, that's two by 10. Yeah, so yeah, right it's, it's right here. Lifting. Ooh. Second one. All right, last one. Last plank. Here we go. I'm gonna just slide it on in. Careful. Don't give yourself a splinter. Boom. Done. Ooh, this is so weird. I wonder if I can uh... No, 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 no. <laughs> So we've learned that we cannot magic carpet ride on this thing, even though it looks so cool. First two cuts are free. Each additional one is 25 cents. That's perfect. Trying not to spend a ton of money. So this would basically just cost me 40 bucks. Hey man, so we'll just need this cut in half for both of them. Uh, we're gonna modify my John boat. You guys do any fishing? Oh, yeah, that's the whole reason we're doing it. I'll tell you one thing, though, that I have good experience with is uh, James River fishing. Yeah. There's a bunch of pools back there that the long nose gar love. To oh, out. yeah. And I've caught a bunch. Very this nice. This summer, I caught a 36 inch gar about this. He it, it was huge. You know, you know what's really good for gar? Huh. Just a piece of rope. Really? And you, and you like take a knife and you like loosen the strands because they'll get their teeth caught yeah uh but this this uh fall when i went to fish the james and let me show you this small mouth i caught oh my gosh yeah Thanks. three huge. three pounds smally crazy stuff you guys make you guys make fishing videos yes i think i've seen one or two like a one and a half pounder mm -hmm. there one time and then i used to slay the the small mouth but i stopped well you guys have good luck Carl. yeah appreciate it. that john boat I'm gonna check out some of you guys' videos. Yeah. All right, you guys have a good one. You as well. How cool is it that the guy who helped us cut our wood is also a fisherman? And he's seen some of our videos before. But now we got our wood cut, and so we just need to find some carpet. Thinking, 
Would this be enough? You know, it'll be a little short, but I think we can work with it. Oh, okie dokie, we have settled. This is the carpet we're getting. Well, we only spent $60, which is well below our budget. Cause that's $40 I can spend on fishing gear. So it's now the next day and it's a nice 31 degrees here in Richmond. Right with me today is actually my dad. He hasn't been on the channel much, but I definitely need his help for today's construction project. He's really good at that kind of stuff. So we have four of these six foot two by eight boards. We're currently drilling some support beams across right now. The plan is to make this board easily removable. So just in case, in the future if i want to make further changes to this boat i want to already have this first initial deck drilled in the boat just so you guys know i understand little of what's happening right now So we got the first beam added in. We're adding two more. If this is seeming confusing to you, it'll make sense in a second. See these gaps, these big gaps that you can easily fit your leg in and trip and fall in the water with. We're actually gonna add in a whole nother beam, make it more complete. Oh, this heavy. Oh. Well, it's coming together so nicely. There we go. That works. It works. Oh, yes. To see this just all come together, to think it was just an idea a few weeks ago. And now we almost have a fully functional boat deck. And of course, the last step to any boat deck is the mat. Oh, look, it's Toby. What's up, Toby? Look what we got here. He said nice. The best part is the bottom of this mat is lined with some rubber waterproof material. So it can protect the main part of this deck from being exposed to water or fish slime. Now we're stapling it in. Oh. And now to complete our John boat transformation. Noah, if you're watching this, thank you so much for these rod holders. Who knows if I take this boat wintertime catfishing, these things will come in so much handy. Oh yeah, I can already just visualize it. Just having rods in the back, just us in the front of the deck and just chilling. Now, if you guys are wondering why I don't have my big Mercury 9.9 .9 always on the back, it's actually because I'm in the process of selling it actually. Thinking about replacing it with the big electric motor, like uh, one of those Torquitos or e-propulsions. Cause a lot of the lakes I fish are small and they're electric only. So it doesn't really make sense for me to just be hauling around a big 9.9. .9. Okay, so first initial test of our new deck. <sighs> no flexing at all. I think something I should explain is the reason I did not go with a big piece of plywood and build a whole frame underneath it was because I thought that was too much work and also plywood is very, very pricey. If I were to get the nice marine grade plywood, it would run me around 60 to $100. So this $60 build was a very cheap alternative option and I'm loving it. Like I can step anywhere and just nothing. Although you hear the aluminum ricketing, that's, you know, that's just aluminum. I can totally see myself just seeing a bass right there, pitching towards it, giving it a little hop, yanking him in, and then dipping down. And then I also move my trolling motor to the front. And of course, my favorite part of this build is that uh, with a little bit of strength of two people, you can remove this deck. And that is my completed John Boat build. Obviously, there's still a ton of room for improvement. And I would love if you guys can drop some suggestions for what I should do, if I should uh, carpet the rest of this boat, add a deck in the back, who knows? I want this boat to be something that your imagination can run free through as well. So don't be afraid to comment because nothing is too crazy on this channel. You see people... <laughs> One more time.